Hi, welcome to this Estimator Express Getting Started video. In this video, we shall be taking a look at producing a quote. To produce the quote, we will be in the report section and we need to go to the ribbon and select the customer quotes button. Here we have quote by build phase, quote wizard by workbook, picture wizard, which allows us to see the screenshots we've taken throughout the software and previous quotes. For this, I am going to use Quote Wizard by Build Phase. The Quote Wizard allows us to edit the amount of information that goes through to the final Word report. We have a preview of the type of information that will be going through to the final Word printout. Now, even if you're not doing any footings in the project you're currently estimating for, you'll still have this preview here. This serves so that when I go no resources specified, key resources specified, or all resources specified, you get an idea as to what level of information is being shown. I can also select with these tick boxes, face totals on and off, build face pictures on or off, sales price including inflation, customer friendly descriptions, and order quantities. We also have a drop down box here for the letter, paragraph, and text. It's currently set to be using the extension defaults as we selected an extension at the beginning of the project. When it comes to the level of information being provided in the quote, the quotes that you're providing can be repeated, so you can print off as many as you need. So you can print off one with all the resources being provided that you can then go through with the customer. And then you can also print off one with either just the key resources or no resources that the customer can then keep, but cannot then get other quotes from. I do recommend keeping the phase pictures included as part of your quote as they give a good visual marker for the customer as they're going through their quote. They can at a glance see that something is walls, windows, whatnot, and also gives the sense that there is more to the quote. We can add even more information to this or remove or edit and tweak by clicking the more button. Under here we have options to show or remove phases from the quote. So I could remove cleaning, completion, and such from the quote itself and they will then get added into a lump sum at the end of the quote but they won't have their own unique sections within the word printout. Other options I have is resources display settings. This allows me to not show the materials, labour, plant, subcontract or sundry though their prices will still be included within the estimate. It just hides information you may not want too much of so you could be hiding all the sundry and subcontract materials and so forth the resource description has thresholds so items below 10 pounds for labor will not be listed as all the fixings of individual screws here and there can add too much to the quote and also items of plant below 50 pounds will not be included as well their totals will be included and the final sum total but they will not be individually listed. The next one is resources in quote. This one allows me to remove a type from the quote. So if I was to untick material, I could do a labor and plant only quote. Same as if I remove the subcontract there. Or if I was to remove the other items, I could do a material only quote for this project just by leaving the material ticked. In this case, I'm going to make sure everything is ticked as I want to be showing the costs for everything on my quote. Click OK. The other option is currently advanced options. This is greyed out because all resources specified is ticked. If I select key resources, it then becomes an option for me to edit. If I click on that now, it allows me to go through the build phases that are going to be on my quote. And it then allows me to tweak what information. So I can say I want all the information to be shown. I want all the labor, all the plant, any subcontract and sundry that might be on there, it'll include as well. I can also preview this. So I can see how this is going to be appearing on my final word printout. I there have the text for brickwork shell, which is construct facing brick and sand cement mortar, leaving all joints with recessed finish. If I click OK, I can actually edit that text by using the edit text box. Include. I can then save this paragraph as. 
I can also change the image that's going to be used for this. If I was to click this button here, I have access to the images saved within the software. I can select a different wall image to be shown. I can also bring in my own images, so if I have a photograph of a wall that I have built, then I can include that as part of my quote. I'm going to click OK on that. I can go through the other phases, but I'm going to leave that for the moment and just click Finish. I'm going to have that set as All Resources Specified for when I do my printout. More options can be found under Preferences. I have here the extension as my paragraph set by default. I can edit the opening of this paragraph by clicking Edit Text. And in here now I can change the defaults of what is appearing on my quote. If you want to change this to have your own wording, then you can do so. You just need to, in the box up here, give a new name. Here as well, we can add extra lines of text, such as discovery costs not included. So we could cover ourselves, say, if we're knocking for the wall, there might be extra costs incurred. So you can cover yourself within this as well, just by editing it. So if there is something you want to include, you can do. I'll just say default 1, click OK. And that's now my opening paragraph. I can click edit text on my closing paragraph and change the terms conditions in here. So I can either copy and paste my existing terms conditions or I can have this refer to another document that is my terms conditions or I can have other text in here. It's to use as you see fit. I'll leave that as is, click OK. Next item is select the build phase to edit. It's currently pointing a brick quick shot. If I click edit text, you'll see that it's currently pointing to the text I have recently edited. I'm going to go in there and re add my image in. So I can go to walls, cavity brick wall, and select that image. So I can change that as such back to the way it was. But I do have in here now the text I've edited. I can also see as well, if I've made a spelling mistake, I can edit that as well. So I can go back and correct. Click OK. Do I want to overwrite this paragraph? Yes. And my build phase is now as I want it to be. I can go through and I can change the default text on all the other build phases. Not really a requirement because most of the time, if there is a slight change to the build phase that you're doing, you can make those changes to the quote itself. Next item I'm going to look at is Page Setup. Page Setup allows us to change the default font that is going to be used on the quotes. But more importantly, for personalization, we can add a covering page display company logo. By giving a tick there, you can then browse for the logo. If I go to my desktop, I have a company logo I can use. Open that, and that will then bring the company logo to the front of the word printout. For my opening page, I can either have a pre-printed A4 letterhead, I can import a word letterhead, or I can have the same with subsequent pages, which is these items here. If you are importing a word letterhead, it has to be a .doc file. So a templated header may not import, a .docx won't come in, it has to be a .doc. If you're unsure about this, then we can go through this individually. But it allows you to have your letterhead pre-imposed over the opening letter. For the subsequent pages, I have my contact details at top of pages, and then show page numbering date and hpixel footer in quotes. I'm going to leave them both ticked for now, but if you wanted to remove your contact details, or remove the page numbering and date, you can do so by unticking these. For now, I'm going to click OK. And then I can also edit specific descriptions for products I use within my jobs. If I was to click edited, I have no descriptions edited yet. If I click non-edited, I can change the default text that appears for these products. So I could change my undercoat white 5 litre 
to be undercoat white without the tub size on there. Leave that as is. Click OK. And then final is click print. I have the option to set this job as VAT free. Charge VAT at set rate over the price including profit 20% or at a specific value. I can leave that at 20%. Click OK. And the software will now take that information and import that into a Word document. And now my quote is ready for me to go through. I can check everything that is on here to make sure it is as it should be. So if I zoom in, so I have individual pages, I have my covering letter with my company logo. I have my opening letter and in my opening letter as I have the same subsequent pages I have my header there. I can still go through this quote now and if I don't want to have something included I can delete that from the opening letter as I go through. When I look at the foundations here if there's any text I wish to add I can do so as I go through footings, oversight slabbing I've got all the information coming through for all the materials being used. I didn't have any quantities come through, so I've left them off. But the important thing to remember here is that if there is something you wish to edit, you can do. As it's a Word document, there's nothing to prevent you from deleting sections, editing the wording, even changing the images at this point to be job specific. So there's nothing to stop you fully editing this quote now it has been produced. Once you have made those changes to the quote, as we go through now, we can see all the items listed. You will want to then hit save. If you hit save at this point, it will save it back to the job file within Estimator Express. If you hit save as and save it to somewhere else, such as your desktop or my documents, it will no longer be within Estimator Express and not being able to be recalled by the software, but you can always print another quote. But by saving it back to the job file first, you always know that you've got a copy of it within your estimate. So when you back up your estimates, you have a copy of your Word file as well. As I go through this now, if I'm happy with how this has all been presented and the costs for each phase, and I've got my covering letters, ending letters, and such, everything ready to be signed off, I can then proceed to email this. If I want to email, you don't want to send a Word document. What you can do is go to File, Export, and save it as a PDF file. That way then, the customer can edit and your figures are safe. And that there is producing the quotes within Estimator Express.